Well, welcome. Leader Bend State Park. This is what you come here for. The Leader Bend, this is your view from campsites number 35 and 37 on their loop. Uh, some things about Toledo Bend State Park. Let's start with some pros and cons. The pros, uh, your view. And you don't hear very much either. No. Very quiet. Very serene. Another pro is you get to come here with your friends. Very inexpensive. Another pro is uh, you get a beach. Um, if you have the plus sites, you get a front, a waterfront view. Uh, you get a deck. Uh, premium sites get a, a deck, and they also have a wharf. You can get a dock. Uh, the non-premium sites, you just have a, a camp spot with a a, uh, a fire pit, and some of them have an extra tent a tent site set up. Ours actually has a tent site. Um, I guess you, if you have a camper and a tent, you want to set up for that purpose. Um, that's a non-premium site for ours with the fire pit and the tent site. The premium sites have the decks and the uh, the wharf for your boats. Cons are their sites all along the lake are very uneven, very unlevel. Uh, their roads are not very good. Um, they do not have cell phone service, but very intermittently. They do have Wi-Fi, but it is not very good. Uh, the uh, campsites run through 11 through 55. All the odd numbers run along the lake and not all of them are on the lake, but they do run on the outside of the loop. The even numbers are on the inside of the loop. Um, some of the even numbers are pull through sites. Um, I will go through on a map and I will mark the ones that are level, take a photo of those and include it on this vlog, uh, which ones are level, mostly level. Um, that way you'll know if you're gonna watch this and decide to come here south to Lita Bend State Park. Laundry room, two washers, two dryers, coat machine, rear entrance. Okay. Something important. This water is very cold. So very like, cold water. If you're looking for somewhere to, somewhere to fill up your water bottles with really cold water, this is cold. There you go. The shower rooms. Hello, anybody in here? No one's in here. Air conditioning, very clean, very nice. One, two toilets, two urinals. Four sinks. Two showers. Standard, but very clean and well kept, and one handicap. And then another bench over here for putting things on. And did I mention air, con air conditioned? Very nice. It's relatively clean. There's an air conditioning station. The bathrooms are pretty clean. It's not as bad as anything I've ever seen. Um, uh, don't know what that is. <laughs> it seems to be pretty convenient here. The water works fine. Got this stuff. These are the showers, which is normally what I'm worried about. That's um, The showers look pretty clean, look about as clean as any other public. 
showers. There doesn't seem to be any kind of problem. Yeah, these the bathroom is actually really clean. Not as good as I expected. Hmm. And to mention, they do have paper towels and the dryers. So, yeah. The beach itself isn't dirty. There's a few like stumps in the water every, like in random places. So just like be careful of those, but it's actually pretty clean. We haven't seen any uh, alligators in here since we've been here. I'm sure they don't really come out because they're more afraid of you than you are of them. But it's altogether pretty clean. And There's the, some of our people. Yeah, over there. So all together pretty clean and a really nice beach. Yeah. And then they have a couple picnic tables and some charcoal grills. Yeah. So it is not full hookups here. And this is the dump station. The entrance is tight, downhill, hooks to the left a little bit. But it is adequate dump station once you're in here I guess it'll do the job looks good to me Fish cleaning pier over here. Fish cleaning pier this direction. There's a boat you can run up at the front. Fresh water. Mm. Yep. It's creepy. So fresh water for rinsing your fish off. Cutting boards. Electricity. So they got a light out here too. There's a light at the front of the pier also. It's a good place to kayak also. Toledo Bend Visitor Center. The journey to Toledo Bend. Historic Sabine Parish. That's wood. That's wood. Sure, five wood. 
petrified. Petrified. Not purified. <laughs> You're right, baby. Daddy said that wrong. Thanks for correcting me. Hello? So I was saying about how uneven the unlevel the campsites are. You can see uh pretty cool with a deck. But uh unlevel towards the front. A walkway and then a dock on that side and a dock on that side and then power and power. Caution tape avoided. As you can see, everyone else is making use of their docks. 